wanted to make a quick video and share all about knotting with you guys. A lot of you have seen my pictures on Instagram or on my Facebook group page with styling ideas, or maybe you found me on Pinterest and you've asked questions about how did you knot your Carly like that? Or how did you do that to your classic tee? And so I wanted to take a few minutes this afternoon and just share that with you all. So one of my absolute favorite LuLaRoe pieces is the Carly dress. It's our newest dress. It's a beautiful swing style dress. It's got this fantastic high-low hemline. It's got a lot of movement in the body. Um, but sometimes I like it to be a little bit more fitted to show off the shape a little bit more. And so what I love to do is I like to knot it over a Cassie skirt. So I'm wearing a Cassie skirt under this Carly today. Let me show you that beautiful print. Um, our Cassie skirt is our version of the pencil skirt. So it's more fitted. And I like to give a little peekaboo effect with the Carly. So I want to show you how I do that. Um, I like to go down the side seam. So the Carly dress is sewn together as a front panel and a back panel. So I go down the side seam and I grab right at that seam. I kind of pull it out so it's more fitted on the opposite side. I like it to get fitted here. And you can see it's fitted across the back as well. And then I take my opposite hand and I gather it together all the way to my hip. You can either pull from the front panel a little bit more. You can see I've grabbed my front panel and I can pull it more to be more fitted and show it off a little bit more, but I really like it to drape. So I kind of let it drape a little bit more um, just to give that fun peekaboo, but I have all this extra fabric. And so what I'm going to do is I'm really going to knot it on itself and I just pull it through. And then I've got this super fun knot right there. You can see there's the knot, it's sticking out a little bit, and I've got this peekaboo effect on this Cassie skirt. It's showing off this beautiful print. This is a super fun thing to do with a solid Carly and a printed Cassie, or a print or a solid Cassie and a printed Carly. And don't be afraid to mix your prints too. It's a super easy way to mix your prints. It's very casual, very professional, but really fun and easy. So that's an easy way to knot your Carly. Now, as we transition into fall, I'm really excited about wearing my Carly dresses with my leggings and my boots. I love wearing tall knee-high boots um, that hit just below my kneecap. And then you can see the Carly dress hits just above my kneecap and it's longer in the back. So no one would see my leggings in the back and you'd barely see my leggings in the front. And LuLaRoe has so many cute colors and printed leggings, I want to show them off. So what I'm going to do is you can reach at the side seam, but I'm going to go more in the front because I want more of my leg to show than my hip. So I'm going to grab just above my kneecap, pull it towards me. You can do it as much or as little as you want. I just want to do a little one. So I'm going to pull just a couple of inches in and then I'm going to twist it and I'm going to knot it on itself again. And then you can see how I got just that little bit of peekaboo, just a little bit of extra. And you can imagine um, with some leggings and some tall boots, how that would look. Now, the Carly is my favorite dress to knot, but I want to take a few minutes and I want to talk about knotting your classic tees. I love the LuLaRoe classic tee. It's a basic tee. It's got a beautiful scoop neck. It's got a great, um, pretty straight body. It flares just a touch and it has some extra length in the back. Now, I love to layer my classic tee with everything. That's why I think classic tee is such a classic piece because classic tee goes with everything. It goes with your favorite pair of jeans. It goes Goes with all of your LuLaRoe skirts, wear it right on top, tuck it in, give it a knot. And you can also layer your classic tee on top of all of your LuLaRoe dresses. So I'm going to put it on top of Carly today. I wear between a size 8, 10, and I'm putting on a small classic tee. I can wear an extra small classic tee, but I really like my tees to be a very relaxed fit. So I go all the way to the small because I like to have extra room through the body and through my neckline here. Um, so I want to show you this classic tee. When I put it on just on top of this Carly, you can see it's kind of long. It's kind of boxy. It does not really give me a good shape because it's doing this color block effect and it's hitting me at all the wrong places. It's cutting me off. So the goal of knotting your classic tee is not only to make something fitted, but to play an eye game with a color block. So I like to take my classic tee and I like to pull them up to my natural waist. It's right around where my belly button is. And so you can see when I pull it up in the back, I kind of give it a flip under 
a little bit so that tail isn't hanging out in the back and I pull it tight across my back and I gather all this fabric to the front and then I give it a quick twist and a knot. So I just kind of pull it through and knot it right on itself. And you can see how instantly that has transformed my look. I can just put my necklace right on top with it. Again, now that I have this classic tee on and you can see how it gives me a good shape because it hits me at my natural waist and it pulls it in a little bit more. Um, I love the classic tee because I love the peekaboo up here at the neck, but if you're not a fan of the peekaboo, just put your classic tee on backwards. You can see how in the back you don't see the carly underneath it at all. So you could imagine if you put it on backwards, you won't see that neckline at all, but it's really easy just put a necklace on with it. You could do a short statement necklace. I like to knot in the front, but you can also take this classic tee and you can knot it right on the side the same way. Pull it tight in the back, pull all that extra fabric to the front and give it a quick knot and then you're ready to go. Super easy, gives a great look, accentuates your waist, makes it look really tiny and gives you a great color blocked effect. You guys, thank you so much for joining me as I talked about knotting your Carly's and your classic tees. I love sharing with you all. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.